The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at melanoma cancer. This is the most scary skin cancer that someone can get. Compared to all the other uh, skin cancers, they're like minor villains or minor players on, on this, um, on this uh, play. Melanoma is approximately 10 times more likely to spread and disseminate than all the other um, types of skin cancer. The other thing is it's also very capricious and unpredictable. Um, most of the other types of skin cancers I've seen, which I will detail in another video, uh, I usually expect to see them in areas which are sun exposed dominant or occupationally sun um, exposed dominant. Melanoma on the other hand, uh, very unpredictable. I've seen it on people's feet even in people's eyeballs is, um, is very unpredictable. The other, the other problem with it is it's like an, it's like an octopus. It, it, it tends to burrow and it, it has tentacles that tend to spread out quickly. If you look at this uh, slide here of this unfortunate gentleman, this is an example of what melanoma does. It, it tends to be like a, a crazy octopus that spreads under or like the tip of an iceberg where you just see something on top but underneath it's burrowing down and spreading out. It's a, a nasty ailment. So how can you spot it uh, to avoid it? Well, take a look at this slide over here. What this is showing is that um, many spots that you think might be melanomas probably are not. This column on the right, these are all benign lesions. This column on the left, these are all melanomas. Now the key to remember is that not every dark spot on your body is a melanoma, but every melanoma is dark. That asymmetry is part of what makes it difficult um, for you as an individual to determine whether you have a melanoma or not. But we do have a tool for you that you can use to help you uh, gauge whether this is something you need to see a, a doctor about or whether it's something benign. And um, it goes by an acronym of A, B, C, D, E, A is for asymmetry, B for border, C for color, D for diameter, and E for evolution. So what does all that mean? Well, asymmetry, if you put a, a, a line down the center of this lesion here, or down the center of this one, or put a mirror, better yet, if you put a mirror down the center of uh, one of these lesions, what you will see is the mirror image looks just like the entire um, composite um, when you're done. If you try to do that with this one, this one, or this one, you will see that the two halves of the mirror image do not match. That is asymmetry, and that's one of the key features with, um, with these nasty melanomas. The other thing is the border. Now again, look at the border, the area uh, or circumference of these um, lesions here that are benign. In each case, it's a perfect round, um, almost planetary looking um, uh, phenomenon. When you try to trace that around with a pencil with these guys here, you can see it's not a nice smooth regular edge. It's very rough and irregular, bumpy, lumpy um, consistency. Uh, I hope you can appreciate that here. The other thing that we look at is color. If you look at these benign guys here, the color is almost uniform. I can take a, if I use a, a digital imaging sampling technique, you'll find that wherever you sample, pretty much matches wherever else you sample. That is not the case with these melanomas here. If you look here, it's very dark here, kind of light brown here, dark here, brown here, almost like pizza in this one. And again, there's, there's this um, loss of, of um, continuity of color. The next thing we look at is diameter. How big is it? All these guys here are small. And typically we say that if you see a lesion on your skin that is more than six millimeters in diameter, then you probably should come see us so we can take a look at it for ourselves. Now it just so happens that six millimeters is roughly the diameter of a pencil eraser. So that is six millimeters right there. So if you see something on your skin bigger than that rubber, uh, you probably should come and let us take a look at it. The other thing is evolution. And evolution just means that you are looking at this thing and every couple of months you notice Geez, this thing looks like it's getting bigger and uglier every day. Again, if you notice that, you should come see us. Because these other benign lesions, they usually stay pretty much looking the same for a year at a time. 
you or maybe even a couple of years they're usually fairly static or they grow very very slowly or indolent these melanomas they just love to grow and that's part of what makes them so dangerous because once they start borrowing they just spread out like wildfire so that ladies and gentlemen is an important technique for you to learn to figure out whether you have um, could be developing melanoma or not it could save your life or limb um, and that's it in a nutshell so thanks so much for watching I hope this uh, saves you some grief sometime in the future um, don't forget to subscribe so I can keep you up to date of new videos as I upload them and you should also check out the video of, um, that I've also included on skin cancers in general so you can learn how to spot those ones too so thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.